Hey guys, Nate, the Otter Outdoorsman here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a tripod. Uh, me and Malcolm need some coffee and uh, we need to set up a tripod so we can make it for ourselves. So, I'm going to set you guys up and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so the way you generally want to start any um, lashing is you want to do it with a glowfish. So when you're doing a clove hitch, sometimes some form of knot at the other end will help you not have it not undo on you. Get as tight as there as possible, so then you can then start weaving it back and forth. Some people like to just wrap it around three times, like just wrap it around all three pieces three times, but my preference, this method, while sometimes can be a little frustrating to put together, um, has a little bit more durability. And because the thinness of this rope, I'm actually going to do it a few more times. Oh, flexible too. Yeah. Then. And then you do the fraps. We just wrap around these different bindings. And that binds it together basically. Now you can do this with almost any rope. You can do it with uh, cotton, you can do it with paracord, you can do it with nylon. I just decided to do it with bank line. I don't know why, I just decided to. Generally, the straighter the piece that you use for it, the better. Now, once you've done your wraps on this, what you want to do is tie it off with another clove hitch. The more tighter you get it though, the more frustrating the tight it gets. Which makes it harder to tie it, but makes it easier, well, makes it more durable. Um, I'm going to tie a second one on here just for security's sake. Let's tie a quick half inch. Go ahead and not just to secure it. There we go, and I'll show you this setup. Okay, and one of the major benefits of this is as you can see with these hinges, uh, or basically in between it, they act as hinges. So you get a lot more flexibility, whereas the other one you probably wouldn't, and it keeps them together. So let's get this set up. Now it's good to remember when picking your tripod sticks is to make sure that they're even in length so you don't end up where you have kind of awkward situations like this but then once you get that going the benefit of these is a little bit more playroom and then there we go we have our tripod and now we can have coffee so guys this has been how to make a tripod so get out there give it a try I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Okay, so generally the proper way to set up a... Uh, hold a second. There we go. Good. Okay, so generally the way that you want to uh, start any... But you only want to do that so it binds to the wood. Never mind. Blooper. Uh, <laughs> blooper is at its best. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a proper knot this time.